Hello everyone, Sigma Later here, and welcome back to Resident Evil. I'm going to ditch these because we don't need them now. And we're going to discover who it was who came through the door. Ow. Whoever it was, they weren't very friendly. Come on, Jill. A little bump on the head's not going to keep you down. Hi, Lisa. Pretty. Ooh. Close shot. Very close. Glad she can't follow you through rooms like they can in the Resident Evil 2 remake, but. Ouch. Give them the old run around. Yeah, boy. Then we need to go pay our respects to the graves. I was hoping to do that without disturbing them, but never mind. We put that in there, and then we get these three. Then we go next door. Fuck off. Press the button. There we go. Yes. And then use. Very nice of that crow to wait while I do this. And use. Uh, I guess he got impatient. Oh well, suits me fine. And then we use. And then we get a magnum. Look at that beautiful weapon. Damn right, I'll take it. Ow! Dick. We're not in an Alfred Hitchcock movie. I saw on Capcom UK's Facebook page yesterday that they're giving away free tickets to an event in London to play the Resident Evil 2 demo, so I'll be keeping my eye on that and trying to nab myself a ticket. Unfortunately, I don't have any... Uh, I don't have an Elgato or a game capture equ uh, equipment, so I don't think I'll be able to recu uh, record the playthrough if I do get on there if I do get a ticket but I'm still not going to pass up the opportunity to try playing the demo hi Brad Jill to Brad can you hear me shit it's broken hi pooch you are the world's worst guard dog you let me get right past you Idiot. Oh, I do miss the cranks from the Resident Evil series. We don't haven't seen them for a while. You know, the HD remaster of this game really has done wonders for like, the character models and the environments. Not so much for little cutscenes like that. No baby snakes yet. They appear later. Alright. 
Alrighty. Let's go down and see some more. Nope, not the pooches yet. The crows. No. Exactly. You do as you're told. There we go, Bubba Snakes. Oh, very noisy. Thank you very much. Now we're going to pop into here. Because we're going to need a, a slightly bigger weapon for this area. But first, battery, ink ribbons, first aid spray. Okay, I'll, I wasn't anywhere near it, but never mind. Don't need you for a bit, so we'll put you here. Put you there, and you there, and I will take you and you. See, when you keep things organised, they're easier to find. Get our shotgun ready. I don't like those door handles. Yeah, fuck you. Grab those. Grab you. Grab you. these okay six is green five is orange three is red you're supposed to light the lamps and look at the symbols as well but honestly unless you're playing on the hardest setting you don't need the symbols you just need the colors The, the advantage of playing this game so often, you know where you can cut corners for some of the puzzles. That door's locked. Not gonna get that map yet. No, that wasn't part of our deal. <gasps> Conspiracies. But it's not necessary to destroy stars. Barry's a traitor? No. Jill. Hi, Barry. Barry, I heard someone talking. Oh, you heard. I think age is starting to take its toll. Talking to myself is becoming a bad habit. Talking to yourself? You all right? What's gotten into you? I'm getting worried, aren't I? But don't know why. I guess this creepy mansion has gotten to my nerves. Yeah, I'm sure. Like, I think I'll go outside, get some fresh air for a change. Don't 
warm. I'm just going to get some fresh air. If I'm lucky, I'll get to waste some monsters along the way. How very convenient for you, Barry. Get these organized. Because behind the bookcase is a secret ladder. Go pop in here. Now you can stay in this room and think about what you did. Bad man, very bad man. I'm I'm going to miss the uh, opening doors in the Resident Evil 2 remake, but it makes sense for them not to have them because they are just loading screens at the end of the day. And very clearly, they're not needed in the remake of Resident Evil 2. Looking at some of the gameplay. Don't need the key anymore. Discard it. I never use this gun, but I always pick it up. Just in case. Lots of ammo for the handgun. Happy days. I'm going to pop in here. Go. So many people were taking baths at the time of the outbreak. <coughs> when we disturbed them. We'll leave you to it, boys. Right, let's go ditch some stuff because I'm... I have no more space for things. I can ditch the shotgun now. Put you there. You can go further down. I know I haven't opened you yet, but never mind. Put you there. Alright. Yeah, I only really needed that shotgun for, to get rid of that one spitter. And the rest of the enemies, you don't you don't really need to kill them. You can just leave them in their rooms. <laughs> now we can, we can go down that secret ladder we found and see what's so secret. After watching the, uh, the game, the gameplay demos for Resident Evil 2 remake, I now would love to see this remake sort of redone in those graphics without the pre-rendered backgrounds. Because even though I am kind of a purist when it comes to Resident Evil, it does stand out by a mile that. These backgrounds like, are pre-rendered. They're essentially just still images. 
and you're just running over them. And when you look at the rebuilt Raccoon City on the RE engine and the RPD, it looks incredible. But probably getting way ahead of ourselves. I'm really hoping Resident Evil 2 does well because then hopefully we'll get a remake of Resident Evil 3. Just to see the nemesis in, in that engine is going to be mind-blowingly good. Terrifying, but good. Right, now we made ourselves a little makeshift bridge. Yeah, I've given up on the whole pick up everything quest. I so say that's easy. That's actually easier to do on hard mode. Once you've, uh, especially once you've unlocked the infinite rocket launcher. Here comes the big get. Ah, that was easy. Down we go. What number is it? Number three. All right. map. Excellent. Okay, everything's good. Let's get these shutters down. Emergency, emergency. Unknown source of pressure. Oh, of course. Nothing's ever simple, is it? To achieve maximum safety. Damn sharks. Okay, release the lock. Drop the shields. Shields get stuck. So now we need to... Reaching 30% of pressure. pressure. Remember what number it was? Number three. There we go. Now, release the lock again. And now, drop the shields. Descend. Thank you very much. And now we can drain the water. Fuck those sharks. Job is done. I'm going to leave that because I think I've got more than enough health at the minute. Plus, there's other items I want to pick up. Yep, some more of those. Thank you. in here to get another key and you don't need to do what I'm about to do I just like doing it bad shark I don't know if you're the one who bit me earlier but still I'm taking it out on you hmm big shark happens to be left in the only port pool of water. Nothing could possibly go wrong here. Who saw that coming, eh? And now we do this. Deep sixed. Damn right. Hmm. 
In terms of boss battles, that one is not exactly difficult. Yawn, the big snake, is a much more challenging boss. In fact, in this remake, I think Yawn is actually more of a challenge than the, even the Tyrant. Because once you've got the Magnum, the Tyrant pretty much goes down in one hit. Well, I think it's one hit if you have Barry's Magnum. It's a couple more rounds when you're using the regular Magnum. But still, it's just a case of running, taking a shot, running away, taking another shot until he's down. Whereas Yawn, he can circle himself around you and you're, you're trapped. The zombie could open that door to get into the bathroom to chase me, but he can't get back out for some reason. Maybe the last of his intelligence rotted away when I zapped him. Right. Hey bees, or hornets, or wasps, whatever you are. Yes, I will take that. I will also take this. Cheers. Now, now, now we can go and get the map. We don't really need it because I know where I'm going. But still, it's necessary to grab it so we can do this. A hole in the wall. Yes. So we can do this. Fuck the bees. Or wasps or hornets, whatever they are. And now we can get another key. Yep, grab this key. Then we do that. Discard, yes. Right, I'm going to go and ditch some items. Because we're not going to go into that room just yet. We're going to make ourselves some V jolt. But before we can do that, I need to I need some room in my uh, inventory, so quickly pop back here over the crate and fire away pop in here ah, so if I sound really sniffly hay fever summer is the absolute worst time of year Shit, right. There we go. I told you I like to keep my inventory or the chest organized. Stop judging me. Up and at them. No, wrong way, Jill. Oh, Jill, we've been doing this long enough. I think we both understand each other. You know which direction I want you to go in. This is not a democracy. I tell you where to go, you go. Right, now... I remember what the colours were. That's red, so you were three. 
yellow or orange. I think you were five and green was six. Yeah, see? See? On normal, you don't need to bother with the symbols, just the colours. That's all you need. Three is four, four plus six is ten. Yep, so we've got that's three. That makes number four. And then your number six that makes number ten. Now we need more water. One plus six is seven, and then we need seven and three, is it? No, 17 and three. So we go seven plus 10, and then one more of these, and there we go. We have made V-Jolt. <laughs> now we need to go back downstairs. And dump this all over the roots of a big ass plant. Like I said, there's a lot of backtracking involved in these games, but if you're like me, it doesn't matter. Because the amount of love I have for this game just outweighs all of that. can't use our bridge anymore because the water's been drained so we have to go this way <coughs> excuse me You definitely need to be fit in order to survive this place, that's for damn sure. Lots of climbing up and down, lots of running. I don't think I'd last very long. Fuck you. Damn sharks. Hello. Have some of this. I made it myself. What do you mean you don't like it? After I slaved over a cold sink. Right. Now we can go back all the way upstairs. And use our book. This is a long episode. I didn't realise we'd gone over for so long. Anyway, we're nearly done. We'll deal with uh, plant 42 and then I think we'll end this episode. <laughs> Sorry about that. I need to try and monitor myself better. Sometimes I have to get too into the game. Oh, 
Oh, well, no matter really. For me, this is probably the most tedious section of the entire game. This is my least favourite part, so... Being able to get it all out of the way in one go... That's, that's a win. That's a win for me. Alright. It's almost over. Just got one more puzzle to do. And then we can face plant 42. Right, here we go. Right, this white book basically tells you about making V Jolt, which we've already done. Now we need to rearrange these books. We do this, and then we do this. And oh my word, it's a naked woman. Now we pop in here and see a dead plant. I take great offence to your reaction to my vigil. Oh no, he's not dead. He grew back quickly. How did you not notice that, Jill? What the hell is this thing? Hey, Barry. Barry! Jill! <laughs> Good old Barry. Yeah, fuck you. Die. That looked painful. And that's how you kill Plant 42 without wasting any of your ammunition. It was finished. Yeah. That was close. Thanks again. Don't mention it. But what was that? It was a big ass weed. What the hell's going on in this place? Illegal experiments, I would imagine, Barry. Get this key. Key master. Barry. Something about that mansion still bothers me. But I think I'll stay here a little longer. We should split up again and investigate. Not, sus all right. not suspicious at all. Absolutely not. <sighs> Jill, you're far too gullible. Alright, now we can end this episode. We'll find a save room. I know this one's been a bit of a slog to get through, but the rest should be fine. Oh. Wesker. Still wearing sunglasses. Jill, so you're safe. That's what I was going to say. I apologize. It was all I could do to protect myself against those strange creatures. I understand. Anyway, it's good that you're safe. Did you notice? Barry, you sounded a little flaky. Now that you mention it, yeah. I'll keep a close Planting the seeds of doubt. It's natural under these circumstances. It's not really our standard operation. Jill, our first priority is to get out of here. I agree. There are still rooms in that mansion we can't get into because they're locked up. I've been looking for ways to... Okay, if there's anything, I'll go back to the other mansion. I'm counting on you. Of course you are. <sighs> Wearing sunglasses at night can still take three shots to take out bees. Obvious bad guy is still obvious. 
Oh, Jill, how are you not piecing this all together? You know, stars are supposed to be like the special unit of the RPD. There's some very obvious clues that Wesker's a shady git and you're not picking up on them. Oh boy. Anyway. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch this, guys. I know it's been a slog. But if you liked it, be sure to hit the like and subscribe button. And also be sure to click that bell icon to stay notified of any future uploads. I've been Sigmalator, this has been Resident Evil, and I will catch you next time.